Well, today oh, me and... Not. <laughs> what? Today me and Baka, we're heading snowmobiling. There's a couple different mods that came out. Some pro RMK players, pro RMK, 850s. These things are monsters. Probably a little overkill for what we're doing. And then we got some... They're called Snowcats, but they're basically a player's Indy 500. Or player's... Um, they're basically a player's Indy 500. I actually had one of these as a kid growing up. Player's Indy 500. It had 900 miles on it. And uh, they were awesome. They just had a lot of carb issues, I always remember. But great uh -huh. sleds. And then uh, got a couple other pro RMKs. So we're going to load these up on the trailers. Do some riding around here. There's even a motocross track. We're going to try and do some racing on it. We'll see, though. And Bucks is wearing shorts. And it's snowing outside. I have, but I didn't realize we just started filming. Otherwise, I would have gotten my sweatpants on in the truck. Buck's super pumped to show you guys the Road Armor Bumper from FS 2013. This was on one of the original trucks in FS 2013. Modded trucks. Any of you guys remember the 2010 F-250 from FS 13? That's what that's supposed to look like. It was a legendary truck. I didn't even play 2013. I was too cheap. I just bought the 2011 when 2013 was out. <laughs> nice, nice. I don't even know how old that would have been when 13 came out now. Buck, should I take the new Dodge or the old Ford, the 70s? They both have Cummins engine in, engines in them. Gosh, I like the old one. You could circle your mistake or uh, you could have your risk your tranny going out. Your choice. Taking the Ford. Yay! We'll back her up to the gooseneck. I like how I, I make fun of you for wearing sweatshirts, or, uh, shorts. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try to fit everything on here. I even have a little sled deck that goes behind them. Oh, shoot, I didn't put a hitch on these. Um, we got to buy one with a hitch. We'll go black with color customization. And then we need to put a hitch. There's a hitch. Oh, engine setup. We'll go 850. The others are all six. The others are all the uh, 600s. Yeah, were well, you putting them all on the, uh, on this over here? Yeah. I'm going to put the, uh, yeah, if you can get as many loaded up as possible. But we need are to put this on one of the, the old truck? ones. These are just wicked. I can't control the throttle. Nah. Yeah, buddy. Hold on, Buck. I got an idea. Oh, dear. Should I be scared? This is the old player Cindy 5 Heart. We're gonna put this on the sled deck and then pull it on the trailer. Not even a sled deck, I don't even know what you wanna call this. Little mini trailer behind here. Do we got room or no? Not on this one. Do you got room on yours? I can... Possibly. What do you say, Buck? I think you sound like Chicken Little over there. We got the old sled uh, loaded in here. We got all the others up. We even got the tilt one up there. We're just strapping yeah. everything down. You ready to rock and roll, Buck? Probably as ready as I'll ever be. Do you want to head to the track first? Or you want to head up in the mountains, or we can do some ditch painting. The mountains, because the mountains already—they said they had a snowstorm hit last weekend, and then it's supposed to have a round of that stuff hit us here. So if we go out there, we can basically do big snow in both areas. I, I, I think I'm going to bury the players 500. Oh, but uh, look on the bright side—you got four of them. True, I'll do. Two guys going snowmobiling with <laughs> Eight seven sleds. snowmobiles. Oh yeah. Eight snowmobiles, I know, yeah, eight snowmobiles and a sled. Oh, huh. that's so why you call us the rich rednecks. Half no, I would race you, but I don't really want to wreck the truck, so. Come on, that little power stroke. We got the Cummins turbo lethal in here. Oh, get on her. God, we're getting smoked. What was that thing about a little power stroke? Slow down, bud. Oh. Come on. One thing that's super nice about this game, the manual transmission, like this is, this is so neat. I just, it feels so much realer. I love it. You gonna get stuck? No, it doesn't seem to be anywhere around here unless there's just a drift that I don't see. I can't see over my hood. There we go. How the heck did you not get stuck with those street slicks? Oh, you got scorpions on them? I got Pirellis on them. Oh, those are pretty beefy tires. 
Yeah, I wouldn't get him stuck up on here. There's no way the heck I'd have taken him with all seasons. Got some all terrains on him. Now we gotta get all these straps off. There you go. You're That's a, a ripper, eh? Hey? Well, I gotta pull the trailer off the thing here first. We're creating drifts with these skis. <laughs> God, you're gonna get that thing buried, though. Yeah? No, man, look at how wide my track is. You got a wide track, thing. that is true. Oh, shoot, we need to have you pave the way. Probably. You pave the way, I'll follow you. That's a trail groomer right there. Okay, screw it. You going back to get the other one? Yeah, I'm taking the Indy. Hold on, let me to get turned around here. The Indy's just, that. the wide track, it just floats through here. Yeah? So you, you having fun yet? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I forgot to tell you, I put a bush there. Okay, this is gonna work better. Player's Indy 500, she's gonna be good sled. As long as she doesn't carb up, we should be good. Did I ever tell you the story about how I about broke my knee with one of these things? Uh-uh. So, I want somebody's up in South Dakota, and we're doing the old-fashioned, you know, you, you, you hook like a, a sled slash waxed hood to the back half of one of these things. You go yeah. run around in the pasture. Well, we were doing that. We were doing like from Target, one of those 15 like dollar trash can lid ones. Tiny little circle ones. You shine we her were up? intelligent. A little bit. What we decided to do was make it interesting and have the snowmobile at the top of the hill and the person riding the sled going around the cone in a circle. <laughs> Basically trying to throw somebody off. And boy, it didn't even matter where you leaned because yeah. the second you biffed it, I. I, I basically slammed a rock on my knee, and that felt great. My mother was looking outside the window because the house that we were at or was, it was, of course, I fell on the side where the window was, and I swear, I was like, just get up, get up, because otherwise your mother's going to have a heart attack. Just get up. And hey, uh, man, if you haven't been thrown off behind a snowmobile, you haven't lived, especially I, on a slide. It slab. felt great. I just tumbled. And this, is, this wasn't a very small hill either. So, I mean, I went tumbling down this thing. Yeah. It felt great. But I think what's funny is when you get the you get the whip in motion and you're on yep. the snowmobile and you look to your right and you just see the sled right next to you with a bunch of people <laughs> on it. Just like, hey guys, what's up? And then they get whiplash like crazy. Yep. Just don't Do go it. in the culvert. Don't put a ski in the culvert. That'd be a great idea. Out oh, there goes some scrapage. Doing some ditch binding. This is actually, I mean, this is pretty realistic. Okay, I'm going to yeah. pin it through the drift. Hit it. Oh, oh, uh. oh. Yeah, <laughs> this is kind of cool. I like this. This is actually this is actually realistic. I mean, this is what you do in real life. <laughs> Besides, you that. Tip, yeah, yeah. This is I like this. I bet if you're doing first, oh I yeah, if you're doing see. first person, it's even better. Yeah, first person's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're Here. in the ditches. <laughs> I was just cutting through houses. This, is, this is realistic. I know. This is how you do it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? My name's Buck and welcome to Jack Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm hitting oh. it. Son of a gun. <laughs> you know, the object is to do not be a BMX guy. Here we go. Third time's the charm. Bend it. Come on, boy. You're on TV. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, skis. <laughs> Where's the... Just in the middle, it looks logical. Sent her a little too hard, bud. Buck, I got it. You got it? What'd you get? I made a runway. Oh, boy. If, if, if we screw this one up, what's on the other side of this? We got um, Let's hit her at the same time. Grandstand. We got here at the same time. You're gonna tell me you went and scooped all this in five minutes? Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Line her up. This is, this is not gonna end well. Three. Two. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three, yeah, baby. Two. One. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, man. This ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just face planted. Woo! Alright, we're just gonna slowly approach this. Oh. Oh. Hit her, Buck. I'll be here. Yeah. God, that thing's so slow. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, we upgraded. We got a Players 850 Pro RMK. 
This thing goes. And it has suspension in the front. Send a buck! Hold on! Oh, I'll swing out of the drive. <laughs> that was close. Everything always turns into a, like a, a trip, like a camping trip. And then it seems like we end the videos on just like hitting crazy jumps. Crazy. Well, guys, this is going to be the end of the snowmobile video. Really appreciate it, as always. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And next video should be the 80s. So, thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.